Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today we will learn about lecture 11 and lecture 12 Which is we are supposed to teach you in a two, two weeks time If there is face to face class And the topic for this lecture is graph Okay, this is not like the graph that we learned in function and graph previously in calculus But this is what we call a graph Which mean, okay, let me see the lecture content here which is introduction to graph terminology graph theory representation of graph application okay so as an okay this is the problem in the graph which is a new ikea we will open at madara bandara Melaka, and this is the floor plan for this and we now uh, the architect proposing a floor plan of each showroom that consists of 15 departments as shown in figure, the following figure. Now it is time to design a walkaway route so that the route will visit the entire department in the showroom. So the graph here means that we find a pass that now to visit all the department store in the IKEA center. How can we make a pass? Remember previously in your chart, uh, while you are in, uh, uh, while you are kids, kita ada problem like maze, right? Yang kita nak cari jalan keluar tu. Ha. That's the graph that we learn, that we want to learn today. Okay. Okay. So, how can we find the base walk away route? For the new IKEA showroom, okay, here that's the idea. So, how can we solve this? Okay, that's in an introduction to the graph. Okay, what is the graph mean? Okay, a graph G, this is a graph G, is content of uh, V and E is a pair of vertices. What is vertices? Vertices is a knot, which is the point. Previously in the IKEA, uh, IKEA example, the vertices supposed to be the department, each department. And B uh, vertices and a set of H, uh, uh, H, E assume finite. Meaning that E is finite, which is terkira. Kita boleh tengok. E ni ialah pas daripada satu not kepada satu not which is E ni yang menyambungkan each vertices ok a simple graph has no self loop or multiple each ok this is what we call a simple graph which is there is no self loop what is self loop previously transitive do, do you remember the transitive properties which is the self loop which is for example, in V2, the self loop is something loop that back to the V2 itself. But the simple graph, no self loop or multiple edge. What is multiple edge? Meaning that from V2 for V3, there is one edge, right? For multiple edge, there is another edge from V3 into V2. That's what we call a multiple edge. Vertices V in a graph G denote by VG. It is what we call a vertices. For instance, VG here, the set of VG here is V1 until V5. It's content of V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay, and each uh, we denoted as TG. And EG, which is VI, VJ. Okay, this incident with these vertices VI and VJ from VI, for example, E12 from V1 to V2. Okay, this incident with the vertices VI and VJ. For instance, EG is, for this case, EG is E12, 14, 15, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Okay, directed graph. What? What we call directed graph. Directed graph is each directed, each is associated with an order pair of vertices. The, the difference between die graph and graph, previous graph is the each here uh, have is an arrow, which is the directed 
each EUV associated with the ordered pair UV is said to start at U and end at V. E V uh, UV, which is from V1 until V2, that is uh, the, the directed ground, which is an arrow from V1 until V2. This is what we call the digraph directed graph. Multi graph, which contain of as is two or more vertices of M are joined by finite number of H, which is there is finite, uh, uh, there is more than one H for each pair, uh, for at least one pair, which is here we only have multiple graph from V1 until V4, uh, from V2 until V3, there is two, two way to go to uh to both side but this is what we call multi graph because it contains at least one pair have more than one uh path okay so multi graph for multi die graph here is contain of okay same as the multi graph here but here is uh, have a di uh, direction which is more than one direction from each pair. Uh, from meaning that at least one pair there is more than one direction. Okay, this is what we call multi graph. Okay. Okay, for the properties, what is the degree? Degree uh, of a vertex is its number incident each. A self loop count for two in the degree function. Okay, this is what we call the self loop called two degree for these vertices. And this is, okay, we can count the each to the nodes, which is to these vertices, there is four each connected, which is this is what we uh, the, the degree for this vertices is 4 degree and isolated vertex is something isolate which is this vertices is isolate from this path which is the degree is 0 so we can see that this vertices red vertices red vertices doesn't have any path through it okay so pendant vertex is like this which is the degree is 1 and it's connected to something else, to one group of graph. Okay, this is what we call pendant vertex. Okay, walk. What is walk? Walk is defined as finite alternative sequence of vertices at each beginning and ending with vertices. Okay, uh, each edge is incident with the vertices proceeding and following it. Okay, now no each appear more than once in a walk. Okay, tak boleh ada dua each yang kita lalu dua kali dekat satu each tu. A vertex may appear more than once. Okay, vertex tak apa kita boleh lalu dua kali. Okay, what we call terminal vertices is vertices which are walk begin and end. Okay, this is the terminal vertices, the blue and the red one. We begin with the blue and we end with the red. Okay, close walk is terminal vertices are the same vertex. Which means when we uh, terminal vertices, for example, we start with the uh, here, then we end with the black here. It's called terminal vertices, which is closed walk. Open walk is terminal vertices is a different. Okay, for example, these two walk is the example of the uh, open walk, which is the terminal, which is it start and begin, uh, it start and end with the different vertices. Okay, this is what we call as a walk. Okay, what is a path? Path is a open walk, open walk in which no vertex appear more than once. Which means path no vertex, which is no vertices. We kita tak lalu dekat dua vertex yang sama. Ah, uh, dua ah uh, kita tak lalu dekat vertex yang sama dua kali. Okay, a path does not intersect itself. Okay, dia tak bersilang. 
Okay, contohnya macam ni kan kita boleh lalu daripada biru pergi ke hitam. Okay, dan dari hitam ke hitam dan akhir dekat merah ni. Maksudnya it a call path is open walk. Okay. Okay, and same as this. This is the line that we uh, go through for this path. Okay. So, terminal vertices a degree of 1 while intermediate vertices a degree of 2. Okay, we can see that the terminal which is begin, this is the 1 degree, then it started with the 2 degree each vertices that we go through, then it end with 1 degree of uh, 1 degree again. Okay, a, a cyclic graph. A graph is called a cyclic if no cycle. Okay, maksudnya dia tak ada cycle, dia tak boleh satu pusingan kan macam tu kan ok so it's what we call a cyclic ok circuit what is circuit circuit is a closed wall which is no vertex except the terminal vertices appear more than once maksudnya setiap vertex tu kita boleh lalu uh, tak ada vertex yang kita lalu dua kali maksudnya macam ni ok this is what we call a circuit remember a uh, what are uh, the the real world when uh, what is circuit circuit like a uh, sepang circuit right when we do a competition like uh, motors um, motorcycle uh, competition there is a circuit sepang circuit it close loop right ok kat situ nanti dia akan ada finish line at the starting point. Okay, in other words, a circuit is a closed, non-intersecting walk. Clearly, every vertex is a circuit of degree 2. A circuit is also called a cycle. Okay, this is the graph theory. What is connectivity, transverse, transversibility? Okay, we, uh, before we continue, we have to know what, what the purpose that we learn this topic. Okay, this topic is important in our real life. For example, uh, we can see in our ways, uh, it find a shortest path in our ways we, uh, in order to give us, uh, maksudnya yang kurang tol, yang kurang minyak, yang kurang sesak, maksudnya kita nak tahu path tu. Then the GPS and uh, the ways application is one example of the graph. Another example is, okay, how can the GDAC or uh, city link or post laju can find the best route and the best uh, human that they can use in order to optimize the operation that's the what we call the graph theory also in real life okay maksudnya banyak kita guna macam uh, okay kalau kita Uh, maksudnya kita nak tahu the best way Macam mana kita nak selesaikan masalah tu Kalau dia ada root Contohnya kalau dalam networking kita ada Pelbagai Kita ada Maksudnya kita ada server center So macam mana kita nak dapat the shortest time To get the information To get to To spread the information from one server to uh, One location for example Okay That's the purpose that we learn Graph here Okay, in graph theory, a graph G is said to be connected if there is at least path between every pair of vertices in G. Okay, G is connected. This is the connected graph. In other words, a graph is connected if can reach any vertex from any other vertex that traveling along the edge. Maksudnya, kalau kita daripada satu vertex, Vertex ni, kita nak pergi ke vertex yang ni, kita dapat pergi. Dia berhubung. Maksudnya, mana-mana vertex ni, dia berhubung. Kalau macam yang ni, kita nak daripada this vertex, kita nak pergi ke vertex yang ni, kita tak dapat nak hubung sebab dia terputus. This is what we call disconnected graph is two component. And this is the one component and this is the second, uh, the first component and this is the second component. Otherwise, G is disconnected. Okay, what is Eulerian circuit? And what is Eulerian graph? A circuit C is a graph G is called Eulerian circuit if C contain every edge of G for exactly once. Meaning that Eulerian circuit 
remember the circuit is something uh, a path that a closed loop maksudnya dia balik dekat titik asal that's what we call circuit okay what is eulerian eulerian is contain every age of g for exactly once maksudnya dia lalu setiap age ni H is what? H ialah garis yang hubungkan setiap vertex ni. Maksudnya dia boleh lalu setiap vertex ni sekali. Maksudnya kalau kita mula daripada sini, for example. Okay, dia boleh lalu sekali. Maksudnya macam ni. Ha. Okay, kita boleh check kita ni betul ke tidak. Okay, a circuit is closed wall with no repeated edge. Maksudnya dia boleh lalu sekali tapi dia tak boleh ulang. Macam mana kita nak dapatkan the closed loop tu untuk dapatkan circuit? This is what we call Eulerian. Maksudnya setiap H ni kita lalu sekali. Mesti lalu setiap H dan lalu sekali. And Eulerian graph is connected graph that contain an Eulerian circuit. Every vertex in Eulerian graph has an even degree. Okay, kita boleh tengok. Uh, setiap vertex ni ada even degree. Maksudnya vertex ni ada 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 degree. Yang ni pun ada 4 degree. Yang ni pun 4 degree. Uh, okay, each vertex dekat sini ada empat yang atas ni, yang ini sahaja dua. Tapi semuanya masih even degree. So, it's Eulerian graph. Okay, for example here. Every vertex in a graph G has a even degree. So, kita boleh uji. Tadi kita dah uji. Therefore, G is an Eulerian graph. Follow the age in alphabetical order. So, kita nak tahu root dia nak lalu setiap age. Contohnya, kita mula daripada sini. Uh, kita mula daripada A. Ya, ya, vertex ni Ok, dia lalu dekat This ha. So, dia lalu daripada A ke B ke C D E F G, ok, G sebab kita dah guna sebagai graph ni Sebagai G, so tak nak confuse Sebab F, terus H I J K and back to the starting point which is this here so then it what we call eulerian circuit we go through all the ages okay one okay so this is eulerian circuit in eulerian graph okay what is a hamiltonian cycle Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle C in a graph that contain every vertex of G is called Hamiltonian circle. The difference is, this is what we use a vertex pula. Kat sini kita guna vertex pula. Maksudnya kita boleh, kita lalu every vertex tu sekali. Maksudnya kita lalu setiap node ni sekali. Okay, a cycle is a closed walk with no repeated, repeated vertex and each cycle maksudnya a closed walk maksudnya sama lah tadi macam word circuit kan a hamiltonian graph is connected graph that contain a hamiltonian cycle every vertex in hamiltonian graph is the uh, degree to maksudnya kita tengok every vertex yang bersambung dekat sini is uh, degree dia to for example here ah uh, okay if we begin from G here, then we lalu vertex yang kedua, ketiga, keempat, kelima, keenam, ketujuh, kelapan, kesembilan. Maksudnya kita lalu setiap vertices. Maksudnya kita abaikan. Kalau kita tak lalu dekat H tu pun tak apa. Sebab ini ialah Hamiltonian. It's not Eulerian just now. Okay, so bila kita dah lalu setiap node, setiap vertex ni, so it's done. And we can do it uh, when we starting at here, then we can end at this point. Then what we call a Hamiltonian cycle, which is it's a closed walk. Dia tertutup kan, kita boleh balik, balik. Okay, so sekarang kita tahu kan, connected graph is contain Hamiltonian, every vertex in Hamiltonian, degree dia tu. Maksudnya kita tengok kat sini. Okay, kat sini kan degree dia tu. Maksudnya yang connected, yang Hamiltonian 2, yang ni pun 2, yang ni pun 2 dan vertex yang ni pun 2 juga. Okey, harap faham eh. Okey, so Eulerian pass. What is Eulerian pass? Just now Eulerian is kita lalu dekat setiap edge right. Okey, then pass is what? 
Pasis, kita lalu setiap H. Uh, just now, Illyrian, kita lalu setiap H. Pasis, kita lalu dan kita tak perlu balik dekat tempat yang asal. Okay, walk that contain every H of G. Terminal, vertices, uh, okay. And N vertex are odd degree. Maksudnya, uh, N and starting point is odd degree. Okay, this is what we call Eulerian pass. Okay, oh. Hamiltonian pass is, okay, Hamilton memang setiap kita refer kat uh, vertex. Kalau Eulerian, kita refer kat H. H mesti lalu semua. Kalau vertex, yang ni vertex mesti lalu kat setiap vertex. Vertex tu apa yang not yang kita kita ni? H tu apa tadi? H tu ialah garis yang ni. Laluan ni. Okay. So, terminal uh, vertices dia N dengan mula-mula dia, degree dia 1. Okay. So, kita boleh tengok dekat sini untuk Eulerian pass. Eulerian pass, okay. It's begin with the blue one. Okay. It's begin with the blue one which is Remember Eulerian pass. Eulerian pass kita kena lalu setiap vertex yang uh, uh, setiap H. Maksudnya setiap laluan ni H yang connected ni kita kena lalu. So, in here dia punya pass tu apa? Dia kat sini A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, G, H, I, J, K. Dan balik dekat uh, L. So, kita dah lalu setiap root ni. Ha, maksudnya, setiap H ni kita dah lalu. So, it complete the Eulerian pass. Kenapa dia pass? Dia tak balik dekat yang asal kan. Dia dia, dia berhenti dekat satu titik yang lain. So, it's pass. It's not a circuit. Okay. So, Hamiltonian pass pula dekat sini. It's begin with the blue one. Okay. So, Hamiltonian kita kena ingat kita lalu setiap node. Setiap vertex. Okay. Vertex yang kedua, vertex yang ketiga, keempat, kelima dan keenam. Maksudnya kita dah lalu setiap node ni, setiap vertex ni. So, it enough. Okay. So, kita boleh berhenti. So, berhenti dekat merah. Okay. That's what we call Hamiltonian pass. Okay. So, kat sini mula dengan akhir ni degree dia 1 kan. Okey kita boleh check mula biru ni 1 and akhir 1. Dan kat sini dia kata mula dengan akhir dia odd degree. Mula dia biru which is 1 2 3 4 5. So 5 odd degree. So di akhir juga dengan 1 2 3 4 5 odd degree juga. So it's a Eulerian pass. Okey. Next is representation of a graph. Okay, representation of a graph, adjacent symmetry and exceeding metric. What is adjacent symmetry? Okay, this is uh, relate to the work that we learned in relation previously. Topic relation, which is adjacent symmetry is a metric of a graph G with n vertices and no parallel H is an n by n symmetric binary. Different over the ring integer such that, okay, kalau dia ada... Um, berkait H je kita namakan dia sebagai satu dan kalau dia tak ada yang berhubung so kita letak dia sebagai kosong. Okay for example here, okay we have the vertices in the column and a row here. So then when there is a connected between V1 until V2 so we plot it as E12. Okay so from V1 to V5, there is V1 to V5, E1. Okay, so from uh, V1, uh, V1 to V4, E1, 4. So here, okay. So other than that, we put it as dash first. Okay, then. Okay, then we uh, put all the edge that connected from... Um, that connected, then... Can we uh, we can represent it as if there is an E, so we represent it as one, and then if there is no E, we represent it as zero. So it become this. This is the final adjacency metric for this graph. Okay, and the incident metric, which is the V vertices uh, versus the H. Okay, if there is V one connected with E1 so then there is 1 here and V1 with E2 okay V1 with E3 
Okay, there is no H for E4 until E7. So there is the connection is zero here. Okay, so okay, this is what we call okay, this is incident metric. So if we have this incident metric, we can uh, uh, draw back the the graph. Okay, only by the this information, then we can draw a graph. Okay, so this is incident metric. Okay, and the application for this is shortest pass problem, traveling salesman problem. Okay, shortest pass problem. You can see it in our ways, our Google Maps, in our phone, or okay. So in traveling salesman problem, uh, we can. The application is in. Uh, for example, in post laju. Okay. Hamiltonian pass and accelerant circuit. What is application for Hamiltonian pass and accelerant circuit? Okay, this is the shortest pass. It's a problem finding the shortest length of a pass between two vertices. Okay, the blue one is the initial, the starting point, and the end point is the red. And vertex is the red nodes. For example, here. Okay, this is the the length from V1 panjang jarak daripada V1 to V2 is 1. Dan jarak jarak from V1 until V3 is 2. And others is the jarak. Okay, so how to find the shortest pass here? Okay. Okay, first is by using this pass. Okay, remember pass is not a closed loop, but we end. We know we want to start where, then we end at the red point. So the first pass is from the, the green one, which is so the total length is seven, one plus two plus four. Then the second, the second pass is. We can go to here, the green one. Then, then the total length is 9. Okay. And this is the third pass. Laluan yang ketiga yang kita boleh lalu daripada V1 menuju ke V6. Ialah kat sini kan. Okay, so the total length is 6. Okay, now. The fourth pass here then the length is 8 ok now to find the shortest pass compare the length then we know that the length 6 is the shortest length so it's easy right ok so ok what if we have more vertices in H in G for example this how can we find the shortest pass? Okay, now we have to do algorithm. So this algorithm, what the uh, the simplest algorithm? Okay, the 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 complex one like problem to solve a uh, uh, in a way without a jam and it will uh, sampai dengan cepat itu yang we guna dalam algoritma dia kita kena develop algoritma algoritma tu apa ialah cara nak selesaikan masalah how can you program to selesaikan satu-satu task tu so that's the algoritma okay for this we need to use algoritma okay there are variety algorithm exist to solve shortest pass problem for example jigsaw jigsaw Jitra algorithm most familiar and well known algorithm to solve the shortest pass. Okay, Floyd Washer algorithm, A search algorithm, dynamic program, programming heuristic, meta heuristic, and a lot of uh, uh, algorithm that that 
build to solve the shortest path problem. So now we will uh, look at Jigsaw algorithm. Okay, this is the Jigsaw algorithm, and please read line by line and understand it. Okay, sure that you will understand because you are a computer science program uh, student, right? So, so the the uh, the example for Jigsaw algorithm here. Okay, this is the example from that proposed algorithm in the Jigsaw. Okay, find the shortest length and is passed from A to J on the following graph. Okay, this is our starting point A and we want to end at J. Okay, this is the distance. The each here contain number, number referring to the distance on each location. Okay, so how can we solve? Okay, using Jigsaw algorithm, this is iteration pertama. Okay, first is all the the point we call it as kita tak tahu lagi kan, so dia letak uh, infinite infinite value here. So we are starting point is here, which is starting point kita punya jarak masih kosong. Nampak tak kotak ni kosong? Okay, so now. The second point is, okay, apa yang terdekat, apa yang menghubungkan A ialah ke B dan ke C, right? Okay, so now, daripada A ke B jaraknya ialah 2 dan A ke C jaraknya ialah 3. So, apa yang uh, seterusnya, okay, this is the starting point. Okay, so now, kita, kita ambil yang B dulu, root yang dekat B dulu. Okey, yang dekat B kita tahu bila A ke B ke E nilainya dah 7 kat sini. Dia dah, dah ada nilai. Which is 2 campur 5 dah jadi 7. So sekarang A ke B ke D ialah 4. Okey, so sekarang ada 7 dan 4. So yang ketiga, iteration, okey ni iteration 3. Okey, iteration yang keempat ialah we have to find a root daripada C pula. Tadi kita start dekat B kan. So, sekarang dekat C pula. Okay, C yang hubungkan dia ialah ke D dan ke F. Okay, kalau ke F, 3 campur 6 jadi 9. Okay, kalau ke D tadi, 3 campur 5 sepatutnya 8 kan. Tetapi sebab iteration 3 tadi kita dapat 4. So, bila kita compare 4 dengan 8, Dekat iteration yang keempat sepatutnya 8. Dan the smallest one is 4. So, we maintain 4. We do not use 8. Okay. So, sekarang dekat sini kita dah tahu dah ada nilai. Yang lain masih tak ada nilai kan? Okay. So, kita tengok kat sini 7, 4, 9. Okay. So, kita teruskan iteration yang kelima. Kelima. So, this is the note yang kita baru... Ah, okay, so tadi ah, Maksudnya kita mula dekat uh, D tadi So kita tahu bila D Pergi ke E ialah 6 Maksudnya daripada 4 Campur 2, 6 Previously in iteration 4 Dia ialah 7, so compare 7 dengan 6 So kita ambil yang paling rendah Iaitu 6, so kita maintain 6 kat sini, so lepas tu Daripada D ke F Okay Tadi 4 kan, 4 campur 4 8, ok, so sekarang ialah 8, previously yang F tu yang iteration 4 ialah 9 kan, so sekarang bila kita daripada D, uh, yang iteration yang kelima tu ialah 5 ni ialah daripada D ke F ni ialah 8, so kita ambil yang paling rendah 8, so we end at E dengan F sekarang kita, so apa yang tak dapat lagi ni yang dekat sebelah sini, kita nak lalu root ni lagi, kita nak lalu setiap setiap uh, vertices ok, so sekarang from ni, E ke G 6 campur 1 7, 6 campur 2 8, so this is 7 and this is 8, ok, iteration yang ke 6, 7 ok, we begin with F just now, F ialah 8, so 8 campur uh, 4 
sepatutnya ialah 12 tapi sebab tadi iteration yang ke 6 kita dapat 8 so kita maintain yang rendah which is 8 ok so sekarang bila dekat sini 8 campur 3 ialah 11 ok so iteration yang ke 7 ke 8 ok 6 campur 1 ok Kat sini 7, 7 campur 4 dia jadi 11. Ok, 8 campur 2 ialah. Ok, daripada sini. Iteration yang ke-8 uh, dia uh, consider from 7 to uh, G to J which is 11. Ok, iteration yang ke-9 H to J. 8 campur 2, 10. So, kita buang yang sebelah tadi, kita pakai 10. Ok. Lepas tu, 9 daripada uh, Ok. Kat sini kan? Ok, yang tadi. Ok, daripada I ke J, 9 campur 2 kan 11. Tapi sebab sebelum tu kita dah dapat nilai 10. So, kita keep the smallest one which is 10. Ok. So, kita dah selesaikan. Ok, so sekarang is stop and return the length of shortest pass which is 10. Ok, lepas kita dapat 10 tu, kita kena trace balik dekat jalan mana yang kita dapat dia 10 tadi. Which is then we uh, sebelum tu ialah daripada jalan H kan ok lepas tu ialah E dan balik dekat D lepas tu B dan A so this is the shortest way to go from A to J ok by using the J struct algorithm ok harap faham ya ok so Application of shortest pass problem. As mentioned previously, shortest pass problem is a problem finding the minimum length of a pass between two cities. It is used to solve many real problems such as navigation system, GPS, transportation, airline system. Okay, airline system pun kalau orang yang dekat nampak kan yang dekat selalu kalau cerita dekat apa cerita yang dekat HBO ke apa ke kalau pasal tak pun dekat dokumentari ke kan kalau transportation kalau uh, dekat apa trafik udara tu kan kita tak nampak kapal kita nampak kata kapal terbang tu akan lalu ikut satu edge kan maksudnya that's the graph that's the the way the pass that they have to go through and Another application is networking and telecommunication which is routing to find open shortest pass first, plan and facility to lay out. Okay, dekat per, penanaman pun, uh, maksudnya per, uh, pertanian pun kita guna juga shortest pass. Contoh kalau dekat, kalau dekat satu ladang kelapa sawit. So, the shortest way to find the the water which is anak sungai ke kita nak salurkan air. Jadi, kita dah jimat pipe, batang pipe kan kita nak pasang ok, that's the the problem, ok other than that is robotic the shortest part, so kalau kita robotic, kalau kita guna dalam manufacturing pun kita nak, dia lalu dekat jalan yang the shortest part and kita tak payah nak uh, dia tak payah nak guna laluan yang panjang so dia boleh minimumkan masa, ok, dan tenaga ok, so Another important problem involving weight graph as for circuit of so shortest total length that is rigid every vertex of a complete graph exactly once. Okay, important problem involving weight graph as for circuit. Okay, so visit every vertex. Okay, we know that when we visit every vertex of a complete graph exactly once. Okay, kalau involving weight maksudnya kita yang ni kalau every vertex is refer to the Hamiltonian uh, graph uh, pass just now. This is the famous traveling salesman problem. Okay, we are given the distance between each plane. Okay, 
kita dah tahu uh, distance dia berapa and we need to visit every city exactly once and return to the home city call Hamiltonian circuit ok nampak tak kat sini dia tak payah lalu setiap route tu tetapi setiap bandar dia kena pergi which is vertex dia kena pergi dan dia kena balik semula bila dia balik semula kita kata dia ialah circuit dan apabila dia visit every vertex tu dia ialah Hamiltonian ok with a minimal cost of travelling Ok, given the following graph, find the shortest pass to visit every vertex with minimum total weight starting at V1. Ok, so sekarang find the shortest pass to visit every vertex. Ok, visit every vertex. No need to back. Right, how to solve the most straightforward way to solve this traveling salesman problem is to examine all possible Hamiltonian circuit and select one minimum. Total length Kita visit semua So kita cari yang paling Rendah That's the One That's the one way Okay this is the First way which is from V1 to V2 Okay Here Then back to V1 Okay ni travelling salesman Okay travelling salesman dia kena balik Ok, 4 campur 1 campur 6 Ok, so the length is 13 Ok Ok, and by using this pass Ok, 2 campur 4 1 campur 3 This is length 10 Ok, this is another way Which is 17 And the minimum is length 10 Okay, this is given the following graph. Find the shortest path to visit every vertex. In order to examine all possible Hamiltonian circuit, first we need to know how many possible combinations are there. There are a total of n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Possible combination are there because there is n minus 1 choice for second vertex, n minus 2 choice for the third vertex, and so on. This number grow extremely rapidly, and is convenient and efficient to solve traversal salesman problem using algorithm. So sekarang kita tahu n tolak satu bagi dua possible way. So sekarang n kita kita ada berapa? Ok, so kita tahu possible way dia Kita kena Kira lah berapa each je Lepas tu tolak 1 bahagi 2 That's the possible combination Ok, there are variety algorithm exist to solve the travel assessment problem For exact algorithm to heuristic algorithm Okay, as the algorithm is dynamic programming, branch and search algorithm. Okay, this is the as the algorithm and the heuristic algorithm, which is nearest neighbor, greedy algorithm, genetic algorithm, taboo search. This is what we call, and all these algorithm built to solve the shortest path. Uh, to solve the traveler salesman problem Okay, approximation algorithm uh, Apa approximation algorithm This is the algorithm To solve the TSP problem Okay, TSP has been widely used as a framework to solve other problems such as the plotter uh, kalau kita ada plotter, a computer printing for printing vector graphic Ok, dia guna juga TSP Ok, untuk jimatkan dakwat ke kan nah, Maksudnya, guna kat mana dia nak lalu Ok, drilling program of printing circuit board PCB Ok, material handling in warehouse, order picking problem and many more uh, They use the traveler salesman problem approach Ok so, application of Hamiltonian uh, pass and Eulerian circuit is flow layout design, okay, biometric, DNA fragment assembly and many more. This is 
they, they use the Hamiltonian fast and Eulerian circuit. How to solve by using the algorithm? Okay. And there's a lot of research uh, to solve the searching problem. And still continuing their research and many PhD produce to solve this, uh, to create this algorithm and is open for discussion till now this okay okay then you can solve this and you can find a uh, find a solution which is you can set your objective in order to to solve this adakah awak nak lalu setiap laluan ataupun uh, tanpa lalu setiap laluan tapi nak visit setiap store macam mana Tapi boleh tak patah balik ke? Ha, that's the objective. Kita kena set objective. Kita nak jimat. Uh, tak nak jalan lama-lama. Tapi kita nak pergi setiap department. Macam mana laluan dia? Okay. Okay, that's the objective function. Okay, then this is what we cover today. And for the next lecture, we'll discuss about trees. What is the trees? Okay. The, okay, we meet again. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.